all right black clover fans this is a little bit different but we got ourselves a early chapter and fridays are absolutely terrible for me so i'm we're gonna have to do the review on the officials i'm not really that opposed to it i wouldn't try to get super used to this don't think this is gonna be a normal thing but we're gonna be reviewing the officials for the new black clover chapter when this chapter was actually really really crazy despite it being like two pages long tabata dropping an, us another little brochure chapter not complaining because we did get a lot of info last week but gosh dang i'm gonna be one of the first people who said i am really mad this chapter is nine pages it's like come on bro like come on now dog <laughs> you gotta give us a little bit more i know being a manga is hard but man you gotta give us you can't just give us this little bit and then go on break. It's going to be torture. It's going to be a long week for sure. But this chapter, uh, with not a lot of pages, not a lot. I mean, a lot happened, but not really at the same time. Uh, last chapter we did, as I was talking about in the live stream, I don't know if any of you were there. But if you were, we were talking about Asta's transformation. And it was on full display in this chapter. Like, we like we didn't get to see, you know, the full scope. But we got to see enough here to see that Asta is, like... 100% like the strongest character in the verse now. I mean, granted, he only has like five seconds left, but he's basically the strongest character in the verse. Doesn't really take all that long. But basically, in this chapter, you know, Lucifer does, you know, land a solid punch on Asta in the face. The same punch that had him absolutely dazed and confused when he was way weaker. The same punches that had like literally rocked all of the captains. Asta takes it wholesale clean on the face and then he proceeds to take a barrage of punches and is not even phased at all. This true perfected devil union is clearly the strongest form or the strongest thing we have seen in Black Clover period. Like it is like ridiculously powerful and then he has this added ability as we see when he grabs Lucifer's arm. Lucifer notes that he is canceling the magic for everything he touches meaning that I would assume to me in the comments if you disagree with me or if you think something else is happening let me know but i'm assuming whatever asta grabs is the magic and it just doesn't work like so if to me what this means <laughs> is that if asta say he was fighting against luck in this form and he grabbed luck's arm that arm it would just not be transformed like you know, like how luck has this full thunder transformation that arm would not be transformed or if you want to go crazy, because I know people like to go crazy, if you want to go crazy and take it farther, it could turn off like his entire form potentially, like, which just sounds crazy that Asta could potentially be just negging an entire, like, just your magic in general. Like, honestly, it feels like no one except for Yuno could potentially survive this. Or not survive this, but kind of be unaffected by it because of that whole beloved by mana thing. But it's a really broken ability when you think about it. Like, it's just completely broken. And we also get to see, this is a big topic on uh, if Levi was in control or was it Asta in control. But we see here with the true devil union, uh, when Asta is explaining, he was explaining as it's like, it feels like they're kind of overlapping each other. But now it feels like they've truly become one person and, you know, that they must defeat lucifer so i'm assuming how this devil union appears or at least how noct made it seem granted he only said like one thing but like it almost feels like asta's version of devil union is a vastly superior version to Nox. uh i guess the only thing that's kind of weird to me would be the time constraint if it actually is only five seconds i wonder is that because he's tired or like it's just this like he, if he was at full stamina would he get like a full infinite time like how noct can kind of be in his devil union and switch and and, and, and just switch between forms at, at like will and stuff. I wonder will Asta be able to maintain his, his true perfected devil union for after this for kind of as long as he wants. That's kind of just one of the bigger things here. And I think it's kind of interesting that Tabata, if it is going to actually be five seconds, that he chose to use five seconds. Because as we know, Tabata has used this exact same unit of time not that long ago in the Dante fight with Dante versus Asta and Yami. Basically, he only had a win in that whole ending sequence when he only had five seconds left. All that other stuff happened with, like, you know, Dante taking a couple of Asta swords, Yami creating an opening, Yami throwing Asta the, the sword, and then Asta slicing him. All that happened in five seconds. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Tabata swings the five second thing in this fight because typically I don't have an issue with series or anime and manga when they say when they give a unit of time because it's pretty much always forever but it's it's, it's very it's very interesting because in this exact instance we have Tabata who like a hundred chapters ago gave us this exact same unit of time so to see how much or how little he decides to fit in this amount of time would be very interesting to see I will say though that at this moment I think Asa's gonna defeat Lucifer, like I'ma just 
I'm, I'm like, I've been converted. At first, you guys know me. I was like, there's no way he's going to win. He's going to lose. As far as going to defeat them, there's no way. But the way Tabata has just been pumping up Asta, there's just... I, I'm just not seeing it. Like, he he sliced through his arms to free Yami and knocked. He kicked him in the face at the end of the chapter. Like, that was a kick. I've never... I have never seen Asta throw a kick in the 300 chapters of Black Clover. He has never kicked anybody, and now he's throwing kicks. Asta won. He, he's he's going to win. There's no no one can tell me. I don't want to hear anything about a time limit. Asta is going to win this fight, flat out. So maybe uh, Adrenalike is actually going to be like the main bad, or maybe Lucifer is going to somehow like get out of there. Because I truthfully I don't see. Adrimalak, if that's how you say it, I don't see him saving. Uh, I don't see him saving Lucifero. I don't see him coming to his rescue. I, I, I truthfully don't. I think he's going to let him die or let him be defeated. That just kind of seems like the kind of guy he is. I mean, he hasn't gotten involved in this in this long, so why would he get involved now? <laughs> um, on like a side note to not talk about Asta, I do I do want to touch on Noct and Yami. I personally think that one of them is going to die. Now, I know no one dies in Black Clover ever. Well, no one, yeah, I know I know people don't typically die in Black Clover. Like, nobody really, truly important to the current story ever really dies. But I kind of think Noct may. Because when you look at it, when, when you look at it, they both got impaled through the chest, which is, you know, a fatal wound. that has been established in Black Clover that people will die from that if nothing happens to, like, fix them. Mimosa's drained. She shouldn't, the, you know, he already said she didn't have enough magic to, to heal Asta. These guys are in worse condition than, like, than then like Asta was. so she really is out of the uh, picture gray is still you know grounded down by gravity and even if asta beats lucifer she'll probably only be able to save one person now that probably would be yami if it came down to it unless something crazy happened but then yami does also have that inner devil magic thing after the tree so maybe they can kind of play on that potentially but not doesn't really have anything like that. So unless he can somehow sacrifice a devil maybe to live. Like outside of Tabata doing something that I feel like he's never done before. Like just going way left field. I don't see how both of them survive this. I really don't. I truly don't see how both of them survive. So I do think one of them is going to die. And my money is on Noct for sure. And Noct, Noct has had death flags like forever. Like <laughs> Noct is literally a walking death flag. So I mean it's one of the things where I'm not you know. I'm not going to be completely butthurt if he lives, but that's just kind of my take or my prediction on that. But oh no, the chapter was great. I, I thought it was a really decent chapter. I mean, granted, it was only really a fight chapter and plot didn't really get pushed. So, I mean, there is that. But at the same time, it's not like I can really expect a lot <laughs> out of nine pages. But it was a hype chapter nonetheless. So, that's kind of what I think about that. I will say, though, I will say though that I, I do have mixed feelings about Asta being this strong uh personally like because it just feels odd because when you think about it it's they weren't even like they weren't even in the realm of competition w <laughs> against like a much uh of a much weaker form of lucifer like they weren't even they weren't they were not e even close but somehow this perfected version is just so much exponentially stronger than that other one and it's like we may like he has again nine page chapter so not a lot of time to explain anything but it's like i would love to know the reasoning behind why he is that much stronger it's kind of like that you can make an argument of why wouldn't i care about that in, in other series like oh well, like when naruto powered up in like the war it's like well karama is the strongest tailed beast so naruto getting powered up from that would make sense or oh ichigo with zangetsu and and his inner hollow it's like well this is a you know uh, freaking scientifically created artificial hollow while Ichigo's like every race ever so you know his, him being really strong makes sense like Libby was established as a low rank devil and like him his union his perfect union with Asa is just that strong it's just it is it is a lot it's just a lot like people could obviously say oh maybe Libby's not truly a low rank but it's like but it's like he was on the lowest floor on the lowest level like we Tabata really needs to me, he really needs to like start explaining some of these whys because it's when I think about it, it's just like I, I don't know. It's it's really it, it gets weird and a little bit confusing when I try to think. It's like I do not know why their union is that strong. It just Libby has to be secretly like a a like high rank or a son of of some devil that's really powerful because 
the fact that they are this much stronger than Lucifer now is kind of wild. But I still stand by what I said earlier. Chapter was was great. I enjoyed a lot of hype moments. Those are just my mild <laughs> concerns about it, <laughs> or just the kind of things that I think about. But all in all, I probably give it like an eight. I mean, just because it was short. It could have been a 10 out of 10 chapter, but you know, it is what it is. But I would love to know what you guys think about the chapter down below. And if you guys have your own interpretations on what you think Libby is or why their perfected union is that strong, I would love to kind of hear some of the explanations on that or what you guys come up with. But that's just kind of my take on it. Um, make sure you guys like the video as well. Subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you guys all in my next video.